Welcome everybody to the reproducibility track. Uh, I'm Paul Levinoff. I'll be the session chair for this morning. And our first speaker is uh, Damian Avila, and he'll be talking about the IPython powered slideshow revealed. Can I put here? Hi. Uh, let me see. OK. Uh, welcome to everybody. Uh, I want uh, first to please, if you can go to this address, OK? Uh, in this address, you will have uh, this same slideshow. Um, the idea is that you get some uh, sense of how do you or how you can uh, manage uh, the slideshow. So go there and you can uh, you can navigate the slideshow the slideshow with me. Okay. Okay. Okay, if, if you go to uh, at this point, it works uh, the same. Okay? Okay. Well, my name is Damian Avila. I'm from Argentina. Uh, I'm a biochemist. Okay? Uh, if you want to contact me, you have uh, uh, my Twitter, my GitHub, my email. Okay, I will do my best to uh, answer as soon as, as possible. Okay, well, I, I want to show you this uh, slideshow framework uh, that is uh, powered uh, for IPython. So a, a good rule or a good advice about presenting uh, talks say that uh, don't do demos, okay? Uh, and I will not follow it because this is the demo of the of the current slideshow uh, framework uh, uh, because it's, it's great to uh, go ag against the, the rule, okay? Well, first, some, uh, some background. A long time ago, in a far, far away, actually a year ago, Wes, the lead developer of Pandas, uh, said, what, 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 you know what would be awesome, an HTML5 slideshow where each slide contains one or two uh, IPython cells. Well, I take this one, and um, in a couple of hours, I embed the IPython notebook in an HTML5 slideshow, the Google one. Uh, I, I use an iframe-based approach, but uh, it was too much hacky because um, when you restart the, the notebook uh, uh, server, okay, the RL changed, so you have to change the address in the, in the source file of the HTML5 it was uh, very hacky. But Fernando, that is here, uh, say it was interesting. Um, they say that the presentation material from notebooks uh, was hiding their to-do list, but uh, we, we have to streamline the, the, the process, okay? So at that time, um, there was a pre preliminary version of MBConvert, okay? This all MB convert, but what, what is MB convert? MB convert is a tool or a group of utilities to uh, convert the IPython notebook to other uh, to other formats. Okay, uh, RST, uh, HTML, uh, and then. Uh, but that time it, it was supported the the conversion from IPython notebooks to a plain HTML. So. Uh, I, I came to my mind. Well, maybe I could write a converter from the IPython notebook to a, an HTML-based slideshow, okay? Well, so we have to find what, what libraries we have available to, to do that. And I found that Rebuild is a great library, a very popular, and uh, I decided to use it um, to, to, to do that, that, like a, that kind of stuff, okay? So the, the, the aim was to get a way to easily get this slideshow, but not in a hacky way, uh, instead, directly from the uh, Python notebook in one conversion step, okay? Well, obviously, this slideshow is, is, is IPython rebuild powered. Uh, remember the demo, but um, I, in the next couple of minutes, I will show you some functionality, uh, some details about the, implement, the implementation, okay? First, we need three ingredients. Yeah? We need IPython 1.0, okay, the development branch of IPython. 
the development branch of MB Convert and the reveal JavaScript library, okay? Well, we, we will use the IPython notebook as a user interface to make our slideshow. This is the main idea. If you open a notebook in the, in the new NB Convert, okay, in the master, you will see a, a, in the IPython toolbar, okay, a new uh, drop-down menu, the cell toolbar here, okay? Uh, I can show you later if, if, if you want. I, uh, in, if you select the slideshow preset in this cell toolbar menu, okay, at the right corner of each cell, you will have access to metadata for each cell, and you have then another uh, drop-down menu with some labels. A non label, a slide, a, a sub slide, a fragment, a skip, and notes, okay? Uh, uh, this is the, 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 the tools to, uh, to make the, the slideshow. Okay. But what is the meaning of a slide in this, in this framework, okay? A slide are just slides, okay? They, they are horizontally aligned, okay? Um, actually, a slide is the, is the main logical unit of information in this framework, okay? But um, because they group all the other things. Uh, you can go, go uh, forward or backward, backward with the right arrow, Okay, this is the, 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 the same slides in, in other uh, frameworks, okay? Then we have sub-slides. Sub-slides are, are vertically aligned slides. And this is interesting because you have a two-dimensional slideshow presentation and you have a lot of possibility to arrange your content. And this is one of the things I like the most from Reveal, okay? This uh, sub-slide belongs to a greater group that, that is the slide. So, I mean, you can add new slides under a big slide, okay? And they will be vertically aligned until you uh, level a new slide as a main slide, okay? Um, you can navigate uh, with the down, down or up arrow. This is a, a first slide, okay? If you see at the right corner, you, you have a controller to, to make the, the, this this movement, this movement, okay? If you go deeper, see, you have another sub slide, okay? Here, you will have a progression bar in blue, it's difficult to see, but if you see in your computer, um, that has, a, that, that keep an idea of how many uh, slides, okay, uh, have been shown, uh, how many, uh, see, yeah? Okay, and how many, uh, sorry? Uh, let me see. Okay. And, and how many we have a head, okay? Great. Then we have fragment. Fragments, there is the first interest slide property I, I will show you. A fragment lives inside a slide or a sub slide and is limited. It is constrained to the, to the cell level, okay? You can have multiple fram, fram, fragments inside uh, a slide. For example, this is one, and this is another, and this is another, okay? Then you can, sorry, you can skip content. If you level a cell with the skip level, this will, be no, will not be rendered in the final presentation, okay? Um, and then you can also uh, level a cell as a node, and this cell will not be rendered in the, in the browser in the main slideshow, but, but if, you, if you press the S button, okay? You will see here, uh, this is over, let me see. Okay, you will see here, if you, you will see probably better in your computer. This is the main slide, your current slide, the next one, a timer, and the notes here down, okay? Well, let me close this. And finally, you have then the do nothing cell, where you add cells to, a, or you add the content to a, a slide or, or a sub slide, okay? Great. And now the re reveal magic begins. And, and it, after leveling properly of the, the, the cells, you save it, okay? And you go to the next step that is convert the, the, the IP notebook, the Python notebook, yeah? You use the reveal option in the current in, in convert, okay? 
you serve the, the, the folder where you uh, slide light leaves and you, voila, you, you have the, your slideshow. But this magic is funded in uh, two, two main powers, okay? MB Convert and Reveal JavaScript library. MB Convert is now powerful. Uh, a couple of months ago, it was, wasn't as powerful as now because it was very tricky to, to, to write a converter, okay? This is, for example, is the, the same, uh, the reveal converter in this whole, and in, in, in this all MB convert. And you can see this is a, a really hacky code, okay? And now with the new infrastructure, this, uh, sorry, with, with the new infrastructure, uh, down, okay? You have, uh, the, you split the reveal converter in two classes, a reveal uh, helper and a reveal exporter, the reveal helper, have the main, the main logic that takes the metadata from each cells and the reveal exporter transform uh, to the HTML5, okay? That is here. I, I, you, if you see, it's very simple code to understand, okay? And Revel is very powerful because Revel by itself come with default uh, features and great features. For example, in the same slideshow, you can the possibility to have a lot of teams. For example, you can, I will show you two, okay? You, you add a query to the uh, RL and you will see the, let me see, you will see the, as the same slideshow, but with another theme. In the same slideshow, you only add the query team sky, okay? So you have a, a lot of possibility. For example, if uh, this is the, the was I like too much. Uh, sorry. There. This is a, a, the night team, or the, the block team. And you, you can see the notebook in black. Uh, you have a lot of possibility, okay? Uh, but, not so, but not also with themes, with, you, you, have, you also have the, the, pro, the, 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 the possibility to change the, 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 trans, the transitions between the slides, okay? We, for example, you can use a zoom transition with the same slideshow. The current one it was the, the linear transition, but with the zoom transition, you see uh, zoom, okay? Zoom and zoom. And you have a lot of transitions to, to try, okay? In the same slideshow. Okay, one more thing. Some of the resistance in 2016, you can get an overview of the slideshow pressing escape, you can test it. Uh, you can press V to, to talk in, in English well. And <laughs> if you want to get a PDF of the slideshow, you can get, uh, get it very easily, okay? More info, just uh, contact me or you can go to the reveal uh, library and you can customize a lot of things, okay? Uh, or I will show you a, a classical notebook example really quickly. This is the adapter to of the Python notebook, and you will see uh, in and out cells, okay, a fancy coloring, uh, matplotlib plots, okay. Uh, if you want to, uh, you, you have highlight the, the code, the same as the notebook. If you, if you can show you in the notebook, probably you can show you in the slideshow, okay. More, pro, more, more uh, bet probably, okay. Uh, you can include math in your markdown and some other things. For, so for example, um, images, okay, of different source. You can add video and you can reproduce this video, okay, which is very powerful. Um, you can add HTML, so you can embed a, a, a new website. You can listen music if you want. Okay. If this, okay, it works. It works. You can you can <laughs> you can test it later. Okay. We need we need a lot a lot of a more connection. 
You can write in LaTeX, so okay, all, all the same in the notebook. Mm, let me see, the future. Okay, I have a lot of ideas. One of the ideas is are more per cell pro properties to get more design po possibilities. For example, at the cell level, uh, change the alignment of the elements or the font of the element or the size of the font of the element. This is very uh, easy and uh, you, you can get a lot of different form. Okay, single. Uh, different form for, for arrange your, your elements, okay? Uh, well, uh, some other things. Uh, do you like MV Viewer? I suppose yes. Well, this is a proof of concept. This is a, an, a slide viewer. Uh, I will copy this address. And the slide viewer, that is a, a copy of the IPython notebook viewer, okay? You can ask your, sorry. Mm, this is not what I mean. Uh, you can add the uh, IPython notebook you write mm, here. Uh, now, ah, I'm not copying it. Yeah. Some more. Let me one second, please. And copy a lot of more. Mm. One second more. And this is the, the render of the iPython of, of your presentation. Also, so you write the presentation and use this as live viewer, and you see your presentation. You, you don't need any more. You don't need NB Convert and any, anything else. This is the, the idea, the, the same idea of, of NB Convert. Okay? This is in development, so uh, I have to work more on that. Uh, let me see one more. Ah, ah we need more for fancier teams. Uh, maybe incorporate another another JavaScript libraries, such as Impress of Deck JavaScript, with uh, our great uh, libraries. And well, I hope your request and your pull request, this reveal thing lives inside and be convert. I don't have privilege to merge, but I can bother to the guys to incorporate the code if you come back with a great code uh, or add a, a new functionality, okay? Mm, a subliminal message. I finished my PhD, I left the academia, and you know <laughs> how to contact me. <laughs> and I want to thank you to you and to the organization and the sponsor because they paid me the financial aid to get to get here, okay? Uh, this is my content again. Uh, sorry for the English and thank you. <laughs>